consortium of Hearts fans hoping to buy the crisis hit club have had their bid rejected tonight. The club had appealed for fans to help fend off the taxman after HMRC presented Hearts with a winding up order last week. But within the last hour, the offer put to owner Vladimir Romanov has been turned down. Well, for more on this, let's go live now to Tyne Castle and our reporter, Gordon Cree. Gordon. Juliet, a fast-moving situation, this one. Earlier this afternoon, we learned that the Consortium Foundation of Hearts, which includes the prominent Edinburgh businessman Brian Cormack and Alan Mackey and the former Hearts player Donald Ford, had put in a bid. But just after 5 o'clock, the club announced it had rejected that offer. It said that it demonstrates a staggering misjudgment of the value of the club and a worrying lack of understanding of the situation and described it as opportunistic. The club, though, will be having talks tomorrow with Supporters Direct, the organisation that promotes fan ownership of football clubs. But when I spoke to its director today, he told me that, in his view, this consortium is credible. There are no white knights out there. Everybody knows that. So from that perspective, I, I think uh, all the aces are really held by the Hearts fans. Um, it is their club. Um, they want to, to move it to a, a new position. Uh, and I think you know he's been stated as wanting out for several years. Given that there are no white knights, uh, here's the opportunity to develop something. Well, if the consortium is to have any chance with another offer, it depends on Vladimir Romanov playing ball. Earlier this year, he indicated he would sell after announcing he was cutting off his financial support for the club. But when we spoke to his right-hand man at the tail end of last week, he was somewhat less enthusiastic. We're Does Mr Romanov still, still care about Hearts? Absolutely. Will we ever see him at Tynecastle again? I think so, yes. When? I don't have a date for you today, but you know I, I'm more than sure that it will happen. Okay, and is he still looking to sell the club? Is he looking to sell the club? It's a question for Mr. Romanov. Well, since the club made its appeal to fans to raise money last week, a significant sum has been raised. More will be raised tonight. An auction is taking place within Tynecastle. One of the items up for grabs, a cycle kit from Sir Chris Hoy, who is, of course, a die-hard Hearts fan. Juliet. Gordon, thank you very much for that. Hello again. As you heard, at the top of the programme, Hearts have knocked back a bid from a consortium of fans to buy the club. The Foundation of Hearts group tabled a verbal offer which included paying the £450,000 tax bill from HMRC, but that bid was tonight rejected by the Vladimir Romanov regime. In a statement released tonight, the Foundation say they will publish full details of their plans for fan ownership, but insist they will only continue if Hearts fans want that to happen. Well, Hearts director Sergejus Fedotovis confirmed tonight the club will continue New talks with Supporters Direct, a government-backed group that helps fans own their own clubs.